Hello and good morning. I'm having coffee in a wobbly mug because the world is wobbly today. Look at it, it's all on the wall. Mmm. Because I am in a wibbly wobbly world of my own. And I made some, like, how do I describe it? It's a brioche mix, a low carb one. Sorry, let me just get the. Dough. It's a low carb brioche mix, but I added a load of hazelnut butter to it to make like a sort of nutty bread. And it's, um, you could have it as like sweet or savory, which is quite nice. But I am having it this morning toasted with a load of butter and peanut butter on it. Mmm. Damn, that shit is good. Mmm. <laughs> Mm. Mm. It's really good. I was going to vlog yesterday. However, I'm glad I didn't because most of the day I just spent doing parcels. I had quite a lot, which was great. I had um awesome weekend of sales, especially Sunday. Like, it was just bonkers. Really good. So chuffed with that, and especially because now today is payday, so at about two o'clock today, it all goes into my account, and I go, and then I realise like what bills I've got to pay and stuff, and you know, not really shop shop subscription and things like that. But hey ho, such is life. But um, yeah, so I didn't vlog yesterday because there wasn't much doing. I literally just did that and photographed some clothes and that was it and then watched The Crown which I've got to say was a bit of a like they didn't exactly leave it on a, a like a cliffhanger or anything they didn't leave it on a good note I think it just stopped it's like oh that's the end then oh okay and although I do enjoy it because you know fabulous costumes and everything and you know, and the only hints of, you know, touches of reality, because <laughs> I'm sure it didn't actually all happen like this, but you know. Um, but yeah, Olivia Coleman is the queen. Olivia Coleman is a great actress, but like, she's, the queen is always so sour faced in this. Like she never cracks a smile the whole time. It's like, I'm sure, I'm sure Queenie, but, she's known for having a bit of a sense of humor and stuff and i'm sure she would have smiled at some bloody point you know but i don't know i just think she could have you know light and shade and everything let's you know a bit bit more than just mm, yeah sparked you know anyways right my list of stuff to do today i'm gonna do post and then shops first. I was going to treat myself with shops in the afternoon, but Karen is on at half two. So I'd like to be back for that because I missed last week because I was out gallivanting. So I'm going to do post in town and then come back. My target is to list six jewellery items and four bits of clothing. And that's tonight's auction. If I do any more, then that's great. But I'm not pressurising myself at the moment. Not when from the 5th of December I'm going to be off like and not being able to leave the house anyway i'll just do all of my listing and shenanigans then in it yeah so that's on my list of stuff to do today and a couple of other errands and things so i will show you in a second um what's going out not much this morning it's only five things going out this morning um compared to like the 40 something that went out yesterday Anyway, I'll show you that in a sec. Okay then, things going out, things going out. We've got two rings going to the same person. Um, that went for £20.39 in total. The, I don't know if you saw a while ago, I spent £7 on this Peruna Jumbo Cord jacket. Um, and then I saw the comps on it and I was like, oh man, £7 way too much. But I managed to sell it for £25.99 auction. So I was kind of right about it, you know. 
but that'll do. That's all right. Not a complete, you know, well, not in any way, but uh, I was right. And this little marble trinket box with inlaid lapis lazuli line, mother of pearl, uh, went for £15. This little cloisonne turtle, little cutie, went for £14.99. That was an auction one. My um, a Primark coat that I bought last year, and I've worn it a few times, um, but I knew that I just wouldn't wear it again, and I've got loads of coats. So I took an offer of a tenner on that one. I can't remember how much it cost me first of all, £35 I think, but hey ho. And then two Etsy orders, um, a little necklace and bracelet, silver set, it's like ball and um, like dash dot kind of thing, so a ball and a, and a bar. And then a little pair of uh, nine carat gold earrings that were knots. So yeah, that's what's going out today. I'm gonna play some well, I, I really want to listen to because they were just talking about like SpaceX and stuff on the news. So um, I'm going to put on Saturn V by the Inspiral Carpets and that's going to be my packaging tunes for this morning. <laughs> in all its full glory. I put a face on. It's my face rather than someone else's because that would be a little bit weird. Anyways, I've had some friend mails. I should show you some friend mails. First of all, as you might have seen in um, Carla's weekly waffle, we had cards from Dev Brads and look at the kittens. And first Christmas card. It's normally my mum's friend Linda that manages to sneak in the first Christmas card of the year. But uh, for once, she's been beaten. Wow. Um, and then yesterday, this arrived. It arrived in in just as I was doing my packaging, and it arrived um, in a box that I could conveniently like use straight away because otherwise I would have had to Franken box something. So brilliant. So thanks for that for a start. Um, yes, but this is from Sharon. So I've got, there's like two messages from Sharon. So first of all, thank you so much. This is like um, a kind of a December can calendar type thing apparently. So it's like a, like, I, I mean, I don't know how it works until I open it, but I'm not allowed to open it until the 1st of December. So I'm presuming there's like a, you know, this is day one. So very, very generous. And I can't wait to get tucked into that. But also I've got to say hello to the same Sharon. Hello. <laughs> Um, and also friend Heather, um, they are like jewellery friends. Um, so Heather lives over in Canada. So I've got to say, well, I don't have to say hello to Heather. She, she you know, I don't have to. She said like, oh, it's fine. Um, but no, I am saying hello to you, Heather and, and to Sharon. Because, um, yeah, um, Sharon told Heather about my channel. And then Heather is a new viewer. So hello. And everybody say hello to Heather as well over in Canada or in, in Canada, as it's known as in um, Handmaid's Tale. Sorry, I, it's just because I've, I've been watching it again and Canada is the good place, we all know that. And then literally, as I just went to the garage to like grab another order from there that's just come in, um, it was a dress. Um, this was, was left by the door and um, yeah, it's gotten to me okay. So that, if you ever want to send anything to me, just literally write Lex on it and it, uh, it gets you. True story. Not really, the address is also there. <laughs> um, with my scissors. So I'm going to open this now. 
This is much excite, isn't it? And this is from Lisa, who, by the way, is right now messaging me on Instagram. <laughs> so, hi, Lisa. Just, just so, you, just so you put in context of time. By the way, I hope this isn't something terribly rude now. And then, uh, you know, like, I'd be like, oh, maybe, I, maybe I can't use that clip. That would be quite funny, wouldn't it? But I don't think it's a massive dildo. I don't think she would say anything. That would be very strange. It's a nice little box. It's a good box, this. This is, thank you for a good box as well. That's a nice, I remember, four by four by four. That's a good box, that. Oh, okay. Hi, Lex. Here's a couple of little things for you. The Tiger Balm is excellent for sore joints and other things. It's a surprise. So that's a lovely set. I love Tiger Balm. I haven't had, I haven't used it for years. Oh, man. Tiger Balm is lush. Put it on your temples as well. That's really good. And it like, it helps get rid of like migraines and like, oh, it's just lush stuff. I do like Tiger Balm. Oh, it's a proper lovely old pot of it as well. Oh, that's good. Yeah, put a little bit. This is from the clubbing days. Go to Camden Palais. Man, that brings back memories. <sighs> That's good stuff. And then we've got, oh, we've got a little, got a little baggie, little pink baggie. This is exciting. Okay, and it's very well wrapped. <laughs> oh, he's cute. He's a little turtle. Oh, is it Onyx? I think he's Onyx, isn't he? What's that? Hello, I am Jer this is Jeremy the turtle, the turtle of calm. Oh, I hope I can help bring you a little piece. Oh, that's so nice. He's very hand-sized as well. It fits perfectly like, that's like a little worry stone thing. That's nice. Oh, thank you very much, Lisa. That's absolutely lovely. Oh, so good stuff. It's going to mess my hair up though, but hey, who cares? Right, thank you. Awesome. Well, here we are in town. Just done my post. Going to do the regular <sighs> British Heart Foundation, Cancer Research, Emmaus, Sue Ryder, Bernardo's. And also going to pop into Home Bargains and somewhere else. Because mum wants ice cream. So I've got to go in B&M Express or whatever it is. She wants ice cream. Very important. Right, shopping time. Shop so far, and uh, and no luck. So let's hope that Emmaus <laughs> um, has something I fancy. Fingers crossed. So I really want to buy some stuff. I do like that, but a bit pricey to find it for me. Oh, she doesn't like it because I'll take out the bloody minister. They won't do it, don't they? I like the squiggle. Hornsey, £4.50. Yeah. Are you alright now? My nice little brandy glasses. Hmm. Ah, it's not wholly productive today. I've bought, I'm going to go up in there in a bit. I've bought two silver rings, hopefully silver, and um, one toy. God, it's miserable in town today. Right, I'm going to do Bernardo's and then I'm going to go to the market and buy some cheese. Boring, but it's probably so. 
like me, um, just wondering what all this bread stuff is. Made in, in Portugal. Portugal. Right, I had a comment the other day about, uh, which made me laugh, um, that um, this market was like somewhat, um, like, someone basically had like a nightmare and it was this market, but they'd never been to this market. So that's pretty cool. So I'm going to show you around the market. I'm going to stop off for some cheese in a bit. And so you can continue her to uh, have lovely nightmares about it. So that's fun. That's the Welsh shop. Lots of these have been here for years. The Crafty Cut. A little baby shop where you can buy your babies. Buy things for babies. I hope this isn't scaring you too much. We went there the other day, the music. Nice sweetie shop. Taste of Thailand. The Hu Teapot Cafe, I think that's like the oldest thing in here, possibly. <laughs> Tiny little cafe. So my mates, used, uh, dad used to have, uh, sorry, uncle used to have a um, camera shop. This used to sell handbags. Oh, and it's where my, um, one of my first toys came from was this market store, was my Tomcat. Uh, and this is also one of the older stores in here as well. I remember my grand using this place and they still have all the same fixtures and fittings as well. But now I'm going to go to the store right at the end there and buy some cheese. Oh, and if mum would want some cake. Is it? I won't. I've tried before the um, no, not that one. You had a black, yeah, that coal one. That was weird. Wasn't a fan of that. Very strange. Like weird texture as well. It was almost. I love a strong cheese, but that was too strong. These all look lush. Oh my god, tequila. <laughs> getting some air so I was getting very stuffy back then and all sweaty underneath the mask which isn't too pleasant so a deep breath and then gonna go in home bargains and be in an express which are next door to each other so home bargains because I saw this morning on Carla's vlog that someone had sent her some skinny sauces that they said were in home bargains so I'm gonna see if ours has any because the butterscotch one I really quite like so Right, got to put mask on and in we go. Oh, 
much disappointed. Snogging or mating? Dirty buggers. And look at you. This one random little white one. Are you lost? Are you lost? Are these all fans? I haven't got anything for you, mate. home having a coffee in the shining mug quick little haul things I can show you not really there's some Welsh faggots my mum likes Welsh faggots I don't know why and I also got her a couple of um, lemon curd Welsh cakes I've got mayo I did find the butterscotch cinny syrups in the end so I got one of them for $1.99 that's pretty good I've just had a very nice sale on E. Thank you. And then I got two types of cheese, which I'm going to have some for my lunch. And then some of these Slim's multigrain pops. It's basically like, a, not quite a rice cracker, but I'm not sure what it's made of. Um, freshly popped crackers, wheat flour. One of them is like low in carbs anyway. One of them is like 3.6 grams of carbs and they're quite big. And it's just, a, it's a vessel for holding cheese basically, isn't it? So I got a nice mature cheddar and then like um, um, one with bits in. I can't remember what they're called. Rewind, take a look. So I'm gonna have some lunch and then I'll show you what else I bought from town, which was not out that much, unfortunately. Not a good day for sourcing today. Hey ho, what can you do? Hey, right, quick haul time because I've only got six, seven things to show you. Not a lot at all. So I've got a little baby Yeti from Disney.com, Disney theme park merchandise. Um, so it's a, there you go, it's a Disney parks one. But yeah, a little baby Yeti. Um, I don't know what from. Frozen? Or is it from Toy Story? I don't know. It was a pound anyway. And he's cute enough. Um, lots of clothing, two pound each. Which I wouldn't normally pick up. But I try and... I, Whenever I go into town, I make myself buy stuff that at least covers my time and energy. If you see what I mean. So I know I'll get money for these at some point. Because they're nice prints and stuff. So... A white stuff skirt, which looks like it's reversible because the print on the inside is it is quite a nice one, like windmill, and the buttons go both ways as well by the looks of it, so that's quite nice actually. Hmm. So yeah, a white stuff skirt, some bright pink Bowden jeans, in a small skinny size, but hey ho, actually no, they're in the twelve. That's not so bad. But yeah, proper bright, bright colour there. Someone will want that, won't they? You know, to cheer themselves up in winter time. Another Steelman skirt. I still haven't looked up whether that's a decent brand. Steelman, Steelman. Um, this is a wool blend, very autumn kind of colour. Um, Longish A-line skirt. Uh, this was a pound, a little plant holder like with some dried plants like in the top there yeah i just thought that was kind of cute little plant throne yeah but you could put your succulent in there succulents and then um i got a, a hideous dress so i might have to push you back this <laughs> looks like an 80s bridesmaid dress so we've got a, a ring i don't know what that's for um, but yeah, uh, very lovely. Stroke not lovely. Like a polyester, probably flouncy. Smells vintage. Yep, bridesmaid dress. And it's got little ribbon belt sash thing. 
Is there any maker or is it quite possibly handmade? So I can't see any tags in it. But yeah, look at that. Crazy, crazy. In a very, very, very um, man made fabric. Yes. Delightful. Um, and then two little bits of jewellery. I paid £5 altogether for two silver rings. Or what I thought was silver anyway. So there's this silver cute, which is probably, you know, like a Chinese brand. But they've got a website and the stuff on there is, you know, it's pretty. And I've got a little gift bag, little box, um, a little cleaning wipe and a little certificate of authenticity. And... I just thought the actual ring had quite a nice stone in it. I don't know if you can see it properly there. I'll probably show it better on a video, but it's almost like watermelon glass. So, like a little EXO. But I just thought like that was pretty. And then the other one is a vintage ring, which I have to ask the price on it. Basically, I just got the two for uh, a fiver. So it's this one, which has got marker seat in it. It is missing a couple of marker seat. However, um, it is silver and nine carat gold. So I don't know how much of that is going to be silver and how much it's going to be nine carat gold. I'm guessing it's mostly silver. But you can see there's a marker seat missing there. So I'll see if I can replace that somehow. But it's a nice old ring old ring with no hallmarks on it because I'm guessing um, maybe not UK or maybe there's not enough gold in it that it warrants a hallmark possibly yeah but anyway I'll probably put them in my sparkly bits video like if I find out any more about them anyway or if not just to show you again but yeah so that's my purchases for today now I suppose should kind of get on with some work but I might just sit and stare for 10 minutes because I do enjoy a good sit and stare yeah so I'm going to sit and stare for 10 and then I'll do some listing <sighs> I've done four clothing listings and I'm like I can't, I can't be bothered so cannot be bothered today I don't know why it does not feel like a listing day today but I've got to do it because I've got to get my auctions for tonight. What day is it tomorrow? Wednesday. I would like to go sourcing tomorrow. I'm going out Thursday. And I'll be hungover Friday. Maybe I won't go sourcing tomorrow. Maybe I'll be a good girl and do some work. I just don't want to today. Like, I just don't feels like hard work to move my arms today. So I am going to list these six things, just six bracelets. That's all I need to do. And then if I want, I can finish for the day if I want to. Maybe have a break, watch a film. And if I fancy it, I can come back later, no pressure. Oh my God. Anyway, right, so this Squadra Blue Bangle. This Lola Rose stretch bracelet, this vintage retro, um, like smoky brown, it's not tortoise shell, you can't really call it. Um, anyway, it's a bangle. Uh, this little ethnic, is it stamped anything? Anyway, it's not silver, but it's quite a nice the Indian bangle this one with all the stones in it and then this little sparkly red one because I thought it was quite Christmassy so that's what I'm gonna list and then and then I will regroup and see how I feel in a bit but yeah just not feeling it today um I did my listing anyway, and then I pulled out like three more and it's like, I could do them. And then I'm like, I just don't want to. I just don't want to. I really just don't want to do a listing today. So I'm not going to force it. I'm going to 
potter around and do other things instead and that'll freaking do yeah right what i am going to do is two bits of post well actually one i can't really post just yet can i i don't know if i mm, anyways right i'll just tell you what's all so a vintage red skirt suit uh, by Wynn the Small went for $24.99 and then a very nice sale um, of this ring which cost me 33 pence because it was a bundle of six rings for two pounds from the car boot sale turned out to be uh, nine carat gold and it is sold for 130 pounds so that's quite a nice one meanwhile I've got someone saying that um, a uranium glass dish that I sent them is chipped but they're unable to send me a photograph and they would like some kind of uh, recompense. Oh, the people are out. They're out. Oh well. It's nearly half past two. I've just been watching Z's catch up from this morning. Pop the kettle on and um, gonna grab a coffee and then I'm going to join Carly on her way chat this afternoon. Oh, right, it's many hours later. Well, not many hours, it's a little bit later. It's just gone five o'clock and um, made myself some tea. So it's some leftover mints in a low dough and I made it so like a burrito. So I added some chili sauce. There's some barbecue sauce on the top with loads and loads of cheese and then some broccoli and some kale on the side. Oh, beast. And I'm going to uh, watch some Auntie Sue with it because she spent £32 on three jewellery lots. The good, the bad and the ugly. Let's see. And who is that? Seriously. Seriously, if that's you, you should be ashamed of yourself and go away and just reconsider your actions. Because Auntie Sue is lovely and she aids digestion. <laughs> uh, just watched a film called I Love You, Philip Morris, um, which I'd never seen before. It's got... Um, Jim Carrey and Ewan McGregor in it, and and Ewan McGregor, you know, even even older that he is now, because I fancied him like way back in the nineties as Renton and stuff, but he is still gorgeous now. He really is. Anyway, that's like the the final image of the film. So, I might just leave you with that. Bake off soon, and make some snacks. But yeah, until next time. Uh, bye bye now. Bye bye.